Icelandic Eiderdown is a natural treasure with unique qualities. It's a sought-after commodity among those who demand only the very best. It's a real luxury to sleep under a lightweight, high-quality quilt filled with Eiderdown. The down of the Eider is extraordinarily soft and fluffy, a natural miracle material of which only a limited quantity is available each year. In Iceland, the Eider is a protected species and that protected status is the foundation of Eider farming, which is carried out on about 400 farms and estates in the country, including the land around the presidential residence of Bessestallir. In a harsh natural environment like that of Iceland, the inhabitants learn to make full use of all the resources nature provides. And in Iceland, down has been collected from the nests of the common Ida ever since the settlement of the island around 900 AD. The Ida has enjoyed protected status under Icelandic law since 1847. While Icelandic winters are hard, various species have adapted to the cold climate and make it through the cold months in forbidding conditions. Whereas capelin migrate and spawn in their millions, Eiders congregate in enormous clusters to feed, numbering as many as 10,000 birds. When diving, the Eider does not only kick its feet, but swims with its wings as if flying through the water. After a dive of about a minute, the birds pop up to the surface again like corks. Another group takes their place, and so on in an unending cycle. Mating commences in winter. The female Ida chooses a new mate each year. The plump Ida ducks move with rare grace. The lucky drakes follow the females wherever they go, keeping them always in sight. Even though the female is accompanied by a drake, all other suitors will try their luck with her. They compete for her attention, hoping to supplant her chosen mate. That results in some tension, but she is sure she has found Mr. Wright. During the nesting season, usually from May until the end of June, many Ida farmers will keep watch over their bird colonies day and night. From an early age, the children learn that Idas must be treated gently. It's an exciting experience to come so close to these wild birds, close enough to touch them. Ida ducks will occasionally make their nests among the seaweed at the edge of the beach, but by doing so, they risk being swept away at high tide and so an attempt is made to move them further off. As a rule, the ducks will move, but this one sits fast on her nest. The Ida female sheds down and packs it around the eggs for warmth and protection. The average Ida lays four to five eggs, one per day. The eggs are incubated for 24 days. Ida farmers strengthen fences in order to keep foxes away from the birds. The farmer treads carefully about the Ida colony, doing his best not to startle the birds. The Ida likes to be part of a group. The largest colonies in Iceland number over 4,000 pairs of birds. An Arctic fox may devastate an Ida colony in a single night. The predator will eat its fill of eggs and if given the chance, will store up more eggs to eat later. When a fox makes its appearance in the colony, the Idas are thrown into panic and may even abandon their nests.
The mink is the other land dweller that preys on eider colonies and throws them into confusion. It cannot control its predatory instinct and will kill far more than it can eat. The white-tailed eagle is the largest airborne enemy of the adult eider. In summer, it lives mainly by hunting birds, and the eider is its favorite prey. Gulls usually prey on eggs. Some of them are skilled hunters of nestlings, and for part of the summer, their entire diet consists of eider ducklings. They have been found with up to five eider ducklings in their stomachs. Ducklings are at less risk if they stay with the other birds. Some farmers have experimented with raising eider ducklings, but no one has been as ambitious as Hrep and his friends, who bought a property which had no existing eider colony. They started out on a small scale, raising 250 eider. The eider farming was a resounding success. The ducklings grew faster than wild birds and arrived back in three years. Every day, the young birds went down to the shore to bathe and feast. It was a comical sight. The ducklings had bonded with Connie, followed his every step, and trusted him completely. The seashore plays an important role. It abounds in sandhoppers, small crustaceans that serve as a tasty treat for the young birds that waddle about, gobbling up the delicacies. Back at their enclosure, they rest after an exciting expedition and find time to bond. Idas have grown accustomed to human company. They do not fear humans, but sense that they offer protection. When the time comes to gather eider down from the nests, everybody on the farm, young and old, pitches in. In colonies where the eider nests are sparsely spread, the search for eider down may take several days. It is vital to gather the down in dry weather. Eider down is generally gathered on two or three occasions, and the colony is thoroughly searched. At the beginning of the nesting season, the drakes stay close to the ducks on their nests. The birds seem indifferent to the human visitors. They lie carefree and splash their webbed feet. Every year, a number of accidental king eiders turn up from Greenland. The newly hatched duckling is wet and cold. It needs a mother's warmth while it dries out. When the ducklings have dried out, the mother bird leaves the nest and leads her young down to the water. The maternal instinct is boundless. This Ida cannot be the biological mother of all these 15 ducklings. On her way down to the seashore, she has gathered extra ducklings from other mothers' nests. The ducklings all follow her lead, and she takes motherly care of everyone. Eiders that are at sea with small ducklings will go ashore when the wind rises, since during the first week of their lives the ducklings must dry out now and then so that they will not become wet to the skin and suffer a chill. The focus is on finding food. Within a very short time, the ducklings are feeding themselves. In large colonies, the number of ducklings can be enormous. As soon as they reach the water, the so-called nannies gather round. They are believed to be immature and or infertile females, 
who were keen to participate in the care of the ducklings. At the shore, Idas may be seen performing what looks like a dance, in which they stand on tiptoe and rhythmically stamp. In fact, they're stirring up small organisms from the sea floor. As the tide goes out, deep hollows in the sand can be seen, footprints left by the dancing ducks. Sharing the same beach are various other Arctic species. At the farmstead, the eider down is spread out to dry. It must be carefully cleaned, a time-consuming task. In the old days, Eiderdown was dried in a cauldron over a fire. But then sieves were used for cleaning the Eiderdown. In Iceland, methods of cleaning Eiderdown have been developed, which are unparalleled elsewhere in the world. Eiderdown is dried and disinfected by heating it to a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. This process also shakes loose detritus from the nest, such as earth and seashells. After that, the Eiderdown is placed in a machine which removes grass and foreign objects. From there, it proceeds to another machine that separates out the feathers. The mechanical cleaning of Eiderdown is nevertheless based on the ideas and methods of our forefathers. To clean Eiderdown is a demanding task, requiring skill and attention to detail. Mechanization has made it possible to enhance the quality of the Eiderdown and improve utilization. Finally, the Eiderdown is hand-picked to remove any remnants of feathers or dirt. This work requires patience and precision. On average, 60 eider nests will yield a kilogram of cleaned eider down, about 16 grams per nest. One of the extraordinary qualities of Eiderdown is its expansion. A tiny amount placed in a film canister explodes in size when released. The down captures a huge amount of air, making it very light. It is the best natural insulation material in the world. Eiderdown clings together due to the presence of tiny hooks on the down fibers. No other down has that quality. Eiderdown can only be sold after it meets stringent quality standards. Eiderdown duvets and quilts are made in all shapes and sizes, with varied quantities of down filling according to individual specifications. Certified inspectors examine and assess all Eiderdown, issue certificates and seal them to the product for confirmation. Duvets and quilts filled with Eiderdown have always been prized. They're sought after by buyers who want goods of the highest quality. Well made and treated with care, an Eiderdown can last a lifetime and is often passed down as an heirloom. <laughs> the Eider is a charming bird and various souvenirs have been inspired by it. There's always a special feeling that comes with buying a new Eiderdown duvet. It's a luxury to sleep under Eiderdown, wonderful and warm.
These handsome birds spend the winter out at sea off the Icelandic coast. In the spring, they will return to their nesting ground.